Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel 5.8 video tutorial, we are going to learn about the views. So in this video, we will uh, uh, learn about how we can make a view, how we can call the view from the controller file and how we can pass the data from controller to the view file and how we can pass the data from routing. Uh, we can say that from the like pass from ID here how we can pass data from here and we can get on the view file also okay so now let's get start so first of all what is the view uh, in the MVC uh, which is a very important term in the view which is the model, model view controller view is basically represent the HTML or we can say the layout of the website so it's a totally front page and we didn't like any kind of logic here we will just plot our data here through uh, the controller we just get the data from the controller and pass it here and he we will going to learn this thing also okay so guys if you don't know how we can use the controller and all these things then you can watch our previous video and in this video we are going to specific about the view and uh, some basic things about the controller also so uh, let's get started so first of all I'm going to close this file so just open the command line first of all I need a controller okay so controller will be placed inside the HTTP controller file so uh, I'm going to make a controller here with the PHP artisan make YouTube uh, sorry this is a make controller and the controller name which is the YouTube okay and just hit the enter now you can see that we got the controller here okay so just open the web.php file uh, this is uh, placed in the routes folder and here I'm going to write uh, write a new route which is the route get site this is my URL you can watch the previous video for the more details if you are very new here okay so just my controller name YouTube at the rate my function name which is I'm going to make here all right so just open the YouTube file this is my controller and right here index function inside the index function just echo ready and just write here function also nice so now just try to run this okay so just I'm going to write here site and we got the ready here okay that means everything's all fine so now how are uh, the real work start of the view from here okay so how we, uh, we can make view first of all where is it present it's present inside the resource and the view so I'm going to make a new file here which is the uh, you can take whatever you want to take like uh, uh, YouTube it's a very common then now we can use the YouTube dot blade dot PHP and at the pronunciation tell we can use the small YouTube here okay so just write here HTML for now and just write here h1 tag right here YouTube page nice now how we can call it here okay for the call just go to the controller and just write here a very simple thing return view and the view name which is YouTube nice and just reload it and we got the page here okay so now how we can pass the data okay for the past data let's say I want to pass the name of the site site is YouTube I want to sh uh, pass this variable to the view that how we can pass this for that just do one thing uh, make a se second parameter uh, as an array and just uh, like the make an array whatever you want to name this I just put the name the data here just you can write your site here okay okay so now just check it's working fine now just go come here and guys you don't need to write here uh, like PHP echo just uh, write that double curly bracket this is a blade template we will 
in the next tutorial we will talk about the blade template how blade template going to work and uh, other things how we can use the for each loop and other loops they are very easy actually okay so just write here data now let's see we got the youtube here okay so youtube pass from controller okay so now let's check it's pass here fine that means this is passing from the controller very nice so now i want to get the data from here okay let's i want to pass here uh, video then how can i get it it's going to 404 so for that first of all just go in the web.php file and just write here a parameter with after the slash that's my bad and just write here name nice and inside that inside the your controller just put here dollar name or whatever that you want to put the variable name and now just you can directly pass this variable name here and you can remove this one also so now let's check now we got the video from here so video from url let's see we got this from here okay so let's say uh, you don't want to use uh, in the blade template you don't want to use a blade template that you can also use the php tag just right here echo dollar data and the output will be going to same okay so these are the basic things about the view in the laravel 5.8 and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video if you have any kind of suggestion note anything just tell me in the comment box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video